All right, so we're in processing uh, 3.02 Python mode, as you can see here. And we have our Pi HMI, Pi Guitar HMI mockup loaded. We're going to start it up. Here we have it. You can see we have over here our LEDs, which are not active in this demo. We have some push buttons. These are all of our push buttons, and you can see on the display that we get the actions when we turn them on or off. Okay, that all works. Here we have the slider. We can slide. I can use it as, like a mechanical one. As long as we're sliding, it will produce re results, and at the end it leaves it in a position. Same for this one. This is, these are our split pots. So here we have for example, the tone on the master, and we're sliding back and forth. You go to the volume, it's the same. We can just click once and do some settings like that. Tone range is the same. And this is unused down here, currently. Here we have a very interesting uh, implementation of a trackball simulation. So we see that we're getting increments as we move, mostly one at a time, because we're not moving fast enough. If we move really fast, we might get two, but we get one at a time. All right, uh, here we have our LCD interface. So if we want to move into editing mode, we're now in editing mode, and we can change it. So we can say we want to have A, B, C, D, and then we click and confirm and we got ABCD and we see it over here in the display that that's the official one. We also have expressions we can build by selecting parentheses. Let's say we want to have a um, parallel of inverted A with a series connection of B and D with in parallel with our only choice C, but let's have it inverted. Okay, and then we can close the expression and then we just go to confirm. And that's our new expression. And here we have it down here also. Well, next thing we're going to do is implement the manager so that we have interaction between the, these, all the different components and the displays. And then we'll connect it to the Pi board. Thank you.